Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, what's up? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos every week. So being a new nail technician can be challenging enough as it is. You're just developing your skills. You're trying to grow your clientele. It can be hard and everybody wants to jumpstart their career. They want to have all these clients and they want to be more professional. They want money. They want clients. They want it all and they want it now. So I'm going to give you some tips that I have, five tips that I can give to you to grow your nail business as a new nail technician in 2023 right now. So the first thing you can do is show people that you are serious. As a new nail technician, trust me, I've been there. People might not take you seriously. They might think, okay, well, this is just her hobby or this is just what she's into now. But you have to show people that you are serious. That means practicing a lot. I cannot understand how much you should be practicing. Set a scheduled time and day. If it's people that are doubting you in your own household, show them that every Monday or every day during the week, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to be at a table. I'm going to practice. Show them that you are serious about it. So whether, again, scheduling a time, day, something, just get practicing. Watch and learn techniques. We have Instagram. We have TikTok throwing out some stuff. We have YouTube. There's so many different ways that you can be picking up different techniques and ways Never settle for looking at one person to kind of mentor you or to watch. We all have people that we look up to, I have looked up to in our career, that are in our craft, that are industry, and we admire what they're doing. And that's fine and all. And you should have somebody to look up to. But look at everything. No matter what stage you are in, we can always do better. So we always just want to make sure that we are watching and learning all different types of techniques to pick up everything and learn as much as we possibly can and organize your workspace. I cannot tell you how serious that is. And you might not think that people aren't looking that closely and paying that much attention to you. But when you are organized and you are working and you are taking the first couple new clients, it says something when you're all over the place. I'm not gonna even lie. Even as a teacher, I see students over the course of years, the ones that come in and they just don't know where anything's at and they're like, their area is a mess when we're in class and practicing. It says to me that you're not taking this seriously. You don't even care enough to kind of organize your bag for class or you don't even care enough to kind of straighten up your desk or your area for your nail appointments. That It says something. That's just my personal opinion. And those people usually are not nail technicians now, let's say. As students, I saw them not be nail technicians. So whether there's some truth to it or not, nonetheless, that's just what I think. People pay attention. I've had people say they wanted to come back to me because they liked that I was organized during the appointment. They liked how I moved. People pay attention to little things like that. So you want to make sure that you are keeping yourself organized and also that can help you move a little bit quicker, proficiently, and just easier. And they also have a good saying that says, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So I know as an L-Tech, you're like, dressing what are you talking about that just means that if you want people to take you seriously you have to take yourself seriously you can't doubt yourself don't talk down about yourself don't trash your work speak highly of yourself we can manifest it into reality but the thing is we can always just kind of have that confidence in ourselves that I'm exact I'm gonna dress and I'm gonna act like a professional experienced nail tech even though I've been doing nails for six months or a year we're going to dress for the job that we want not that we have. Number two, post on social media. I don't care if you've been doing nails for three hours, three days, three months. You should be posting on social media. Post your up and coming work. Post the little things that you are doing. You're practicing on the skills. Show posts that you are watching a YouTube tutorial and practicing how to do ombre. Just post on social media. You have to be present on your social media accounts. Well, let's hope you should have a social, let's back it up. You should have a social media account for your nails. I have a lot of people say, I don't know the name. I don't know what I want to do. 
these are excuses. They are excuses as to why you're procrastinating and starting a social media account because you're maybe scared or not ready. Get over that, make a social media account and post frequently. Don't be absent on posts on social media because this is how we are going to get certain local people in our area following us, paying attention to us as nail technicians. If you are posting on social media, you want to be active, engage with your audience. People comment, people say, oh, this picture's dope. You respond, thank you. I appreciate that so much. We heart it. We engage with the audience because people like when you respond back to them, especially if, as you build many followers, people, you know, that one person is going to say, oh, this nice pic. And you're like, thank you. Sometimes you feel like, oh, she responded. That was nice. Engage with them. And also these are numbers and things that Instagram and all social media platforms, they look at, they look at your account and how much you're engaging with your followers. So we want to make sure that we are kind of commenting, liking, or just some type of engagement. That could also include your stories. You want to interact with people on your stories. I'm trying to get better with that myself. I'm not a go live person, talk to the camera. Like I barely have time to like be on social media, let alone like talk. So it's something that I'm personally, I'm trying to get better on, but it is a good method, especially if you are somebody that only really posts your nail work. When you only, if you only post on YouTube, go on a different platform and start speaking to that audience, pull people in because then you'll be pulling people from both social medias and then they, they cross each other. This is how we build our following. So posting on your stories, being interactive. Maybe if you only post nails, show somebody what it is like a day in your life or talk to them throughout the day, chit chat with you and your client, something, just be a little bit more interactive on your stories. We also want to make sure that we are posting reels and all these things we're staying current with trends and music and all the different popular reels that could be coming out memes or we're posting stuff so you want to stay current on that i have a video on social media marketing techniques that i'm going to leave below and you can go check that out some of the things that i suggest if you want to kind of work on your social media platforms next thing is we want to charge like a professional or charge like a pro do not charge like a new nail technician a lot of people think because I'm not new, because I'm licensed, I can't charge like this or that. It doesn't matter. I've seen people come into nail school that are so good, it's unreal. And it doesn't matter just because you don't have a license or you know, you've only been doing nails X amount. Maybe you just really are that good in a year's time. That doesn't mean that you can't charge what somebody else has been doing nails for five years can't charge. If the work is good, you charge accordingly. We also want to include our for our time and supplies and stuff. People want hand-drawn things and stuff. Don't let people take advantage of you because you are a new nail technician. Don't downplay yourself and your skills just because you are a, nail net, nail, a new nail Just because you are a new nail net. Why can I say that word? Just because you are a new nail technician. <laughs> just because you are a new nail technician. And also we want to price our stuff so that we can eventually do this full time. If you're new, you probably have a regular nine to five. But in order to make this a job and not just a hobby, a side hustle, if this is something that you're serious about doing, you have to charge so that you can make a living from it. At least at some point in the beginning stages, not immediately, but you know, once you pick it up and you see that you're kind of busy, we need to charge like a professional. I also have a video about how to charge as a new nail technician and how to increase your prices. And I'm going to link that below as well for you. Another way that we are going to be able to grow is if we invest in ourselves. If you are a new nail technician and you have not been to school, go to school. Stop procrastinating. Trust me, I've been there. Stop procrastinating. If this is what you want to do, you know you have to do it. So just go to school. Start looking into stuff. Start making the steps towards at least get some numbers. If you're not ready financially to pay for it, figure out what you can do, how you can save it. So you can set a plan in motion, but go to school, make that investment in yourself. It'll be so worth it. If you're already licensed or maybe you haven't been doing nails that long or you still feel, you know, in school, we always say we speak very much to get you licensed and just pass your board. So you don't really learn all the cool, fun stuff in school. That's just not what we have time to do as teachers. So take some continuing education courses. Yes, there's YouTube and such, but find you have somebody you follow. Everybody has somebody they follow that's going to do some type of course, that's going to some company that has stuff virtually, Young Nails that has stuff. All these companies have stuff and you can take courses with them. You do want to just be mindful that, in my opinion, if somebody hasn't been doing nails that long, do not take a course with them. I'm sorry. Because there's a lot of people out there. You have to look at someone's credentials before you say, I want to take a course with them. If you haven't been doing nails that long, I'm sorry, but you don't even know a lot of things that can go wrong. 
to fix it, let alone to tell somebody else how to fix it if it happens to them, how to teach, how to break it down. It's a whole different thing. So you want to make sure that you have somebody that actually knows what they're talking about. They've been doing this for a long time. Everybody can do banging nails, but can you teach somebody how to do it? So you always want to make sure if you're taking any continuing education courses, I would highly recommend taking them with a brand. Then you can get a certificate through them. And again, most major brands have some type of courses virtually or that you can attend in person. And if you feel that you skilled and everything, even though you're a new nail tech, you license, you feel like you've mastered all the stuff in nail art or you've, you've gotten yourself to a good level, learn a new skill. Learn a new skill that could be potentially a new service that you can offer. Look into lashes. If you were staying away from pedicures, look into pedicures or dry pedicures or try to teach yourself something else. Make yourself a little bit more open-minded as to the things that you could be offering. Because again, that's how we grow our business. We can't grow if we always stay like this. We have to eventually do something else to make more money. We have to. So what else can you do that you can grow your business? And lastly, we want to invest in your business. If this is something, again, that you are taking seriously after you've been doing it for a little bit and you've grown a little bit of clientele, start using some quality products. We don't want to just spend all of our money. That's not what I'm saying. Don't run out and buy everything, but start with your hardcore products, your main acrylic or enhancement products. Let them be good, good quality because those are the things that's going to help your nails last longer. It's going to help people coming back. That's how we're going to grow. We need these people to come back. So investing in quality products is going to be crucial to retaining your clientele. We want to invest in supplies as well. Supplies that we're going to need for our nail art, anything that's trending. You know your clientele. What do they need? Make sure you have it on deck so that when they want these things, you can supply it. You can offer it. We can make more money with this way. We can grow our clientele again. If they're happy, they come back. And also, we want to make sure that we are investing in good equipment. Again, your hardcore products, your nail drill, your UV machine. These are things that while you shouldn't always be thinking about the brand, if at some point you are going to be serious about it, you need to have some good equipment so that they can last. There's a lot of longevity when you spend a little bit of money. So investing in a $400 drill might sound like that's crazy, but I'm going to tell you when you feel this, how a drill like that works versus a $30, $40 drill, you will see that you will have it for a long time and it's a big investment. But I would definitely invest in the hardcore equipment if you eventually want to kind of grow your business. And also by using your more expensive stuff is going to make you want to continue practicing and continue doing nails because you're going to say, I just spent $400 on this drill. I'm going to use this. So you'd be surprised how investing in certain good things makes you, forces you to want to use them and keep practicing and keep working. Okay, guys. So I hope those tips help for you. I have left a new playlist. I'm going to link it down below where I have compiled all the videos that I've made that you can just binge and watch that will help grow your business. So everything that I've mentioned here, it's going to be in a new playlist. So you want to look for that again, leave the link below. We're going to help you get your business to where it needs to be for 2023. As always, leave me any questions, comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Ooh, I got these new lights and like, this is hot. Bacon underneath this thing right now. My air is super loud. Hopefully I can get that out.